Jena Jena Selakaya Chaksu Militam Yanatas, my Shri Gurubina Maha, my Shri Chaitanya Mano Bistam, Stapitam Yena Bhutale, Swayam Mubla, Gadam Mayam, Gadaki Swam Padati Kam. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Pristaya Bhutale, Shri Bhakti Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tinamani Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauru Vani Pachari Nai Nirvise Sasunya Vari Asyatya Vai Sakari Nai Pancha Kalpa Tarubis Cha Kripa Sindhu Vai Pacha Patitanam Bhavane Bhyo Vaishnave Bhyo Namaho Namaha Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vasari Gaur Bhaktivit Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hmm. So they, today is the most auspicious day of Aksaya Tritya, <laughs> and uh, it's a very auspicious day. It's a day where there is no inauspiciousness. <laughs> not even in the slightest. It's a day where uh, many very powerful stories from the Shastras, pastimes of the Lord, and other uh, events have happened on this particular day. And it's a day where anyone who begins anything on this day will receive full blessings for success in that endeavor. So people begin projects on this day, devotees especially. Marriage is a very important thing for this day. This is a good day for marriage. To any of you out there thinking of getting married, today's the day. So, uh, we can take advantage of this day and learn a little bit more about it. So I'll uh, read some some points and then also <coughs> uh, the word akshaya actually means that which doesn't diminish or a more succinct definition is inexhaustible. The inauspiciousness on his day is inexhaustible. Tritya refers to the third day after the new month, new moon in the month of Vishaka. And this day is ruled by Lord Vishnu himself. Mm -hmm. I'll read uh, some of the events that have taken place on this day. But I'll just mention some of the more outstanding ones, and then we'll go back over some others. It's mentioned that Treta Yuga began on this day. We understand there are four yugas, Satya Yuga, Treta Yuga, Dupara Yuga, Kali Yuga. On this day, Treta Yuga began. And as also, there's a famous festival known as Chandan Yatra which starts on this day and lasts for 21 days. Mm -hmm. So there are many celebrations in the land of India today on this particular day. And it covers not only one area, but throughout the whole some continent, there are many, many activities. Today is also the day that, that Parasaram appeared it's actually his appearance day, or the day he actually in incarnated. It's also said in another way that um, Lord Pan, he retrieved the submerged water, uh, submerged land ocean underneath the ocean, and he brought that to the surface. And this and that place is called Parasarama Shetra. And we know it today as Kerala. <laughs> Interesting. And we know who Parasurama is, an incarnation in order to destroy the proud Kshatriya kings 
and reestablish Brahminical saintly rule in the world. He did this through destroying them 21 generations. So this is the day of his appearance. Today is also really another auspicious day. It's the day that um, Yasudev approached Lord Ganesh and asked him if he could write down what he speaks. <laughs> And Lord Ganesh agreed, and that was the compilation of the work called Mahabharata. <laughs> there was another apparently inauspicious thing that started on this day, but ended up auspicious, which shows the power of this particular day. When the Kurus were trying to destroy the Pandavas, knowing their weakness, they brought them into a dice game and Shakuni, the uncle, I think of Duryodhana, uh, he had some trick dice. <laughs> Knowing the weaknesses of Yudhisthir, he engaged Yudhisthir in a dice game with Shakuni, but the game was loaded and Yudhisthir had no chance to win, although he was unaware of it. So the Pandavas staked everything they had in match after match between Yudhisthira and Sukuni, Shakuni. Finally, there was nothing left. <laughs> so they wagered Draupadi, their wife. <laughs> Draupadi was the interesting because this you don't find anywhere except in, as Prabhupada said, certain upcountry areas in the mountain regions of India where one woman has many husbands. It's called, when one man has many wives, it's called polygamy. When one woman has many husbands, it's called un, un, underne, un, under, no, I can't remember, underne or something. Maybe somebody remembers the word. It's gone from my memory. <laughs> Um, so, uh, the Pandavas jointly uh, had, had, the, had um, Draupadi as their wife, and so they staked her in the match. They lost the match. Let me my audio. Okay, let me see if I... Is that any better? Yes, Guru Maharaj, yeah, it's better. Okay, I tried to keep it. And they lost the match. And so Dusha, Dushashana and Diodana, and actually it was Dushashana and Karna, wanted to embarrass Draupadi in front of everyone. So they decided to disrobe her in front of everyone in this assembly. There were many, many Kshatriyas there. So Dushashana grabbed her, her sari and started to pull on it. And he was unraveling her sari. Draupadi is only a lady compared to Dushashana, who was a powerful warrior. So she was no match for him. him. The Pandavas didn't do anything. <laughs> and this is one of the things that everyone was bewildered, but, but they were subjugated by the Kurus during this and had become the possession of the Kurus. And so um, Draupadi was calling for help, but nobody came. Finally, after seeing she was impossible for her to hold on to her own sari, she uh, raised one hand up in the air with one hand trying to hold her sari and she called out to Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Maha, Baho. Krishna was in Dwarka at the time and he had heard his devotee calling. And uh, Rukmini was also there and they were actually playing, they were actually engaged in playing a game of dice also in a very sporting way, husband and wife. So uh, 
Rukmini, she noticed Draupadi's in trouble and she's calling for Krishna. So she turns to Krishna and says, Krishna, your devotee's in trouble, she's calling. Krishna said, well, she's still holding on with one hand. Let's play another game of dice. So then, of course, Draupadi eventually realized she was no match for this. So she threw up both arms in the air and called out for Krishna. At that time, Krishna came in the most amazing way. He incarnated as unlimited sari. And so as he was pulling her sari off, she was still fully dressed. And there was piles and piles of sari all over the floor, but she was still remaining fully clothed. So this was Krishna. He had incarnated in, a, in that particular form. Krishna saved the day for that for Draupadi and to, and for the Pandavas. Mm -hmm. This this day also is the day where uh, the river Ganges descended to earth, and, it's, and of course where we mentioned the Chandan Yatra starts on this particular day. Um, Draupadi was given a pot by by the sun god, Surya. Actually, the, the pot was given to Yudhisthira who gave it to Draupadi. And this pot was a magical pot that it could provide unlimited food as long as Draupadi hadn't eaten. Once she ate, there would be no more food from that pot. So one time when the Pandavas were in exile in the forest, Diodana wanted to embarrass them even more and try to destroy them. So he sent, um, he asked, it just so happened that Durvasa Muni came to see Duryodhana on that day. So Duryodhana used his cunning trickery and said, actually, you should go visit the Pandavas, they're in the forest. And so Durvasa Muni thought it was a good idea to go see the Pandavas. So he came, and that, at that time when he arrived, uh, all the Pandavas had already taken Prashadam from the pot, and there was, and Draupadi had also finished. Now, Durvasa comes with 60,000 followers, and they're all hungry. So, um, he's welcomed by the Pandavas, but he says, now I will come back and honor Prashadam, we will go first to the river and bathe. So he went to the river and bathe, to prepare for Prashadam. And then Draupadi in distress, she approached Krishna asking him what to do. And Krishna was thought, well, oh, Draupadi, have you eaten? And she said, yes. And then Krishna understood the pot cannot produce any more. So then Krishna said, let, let me see the pot. She said, it's there's nothing there. Let me see it anyway. So he saw the pot and he found that in one corner of a pot, there was some vegetable stuck. So he took that piece of vegetable and he ate it. And as soon as he ate it, because he is the center of everything, he is Vishwambar who can eat the whole universe. He is Mula, he's the root of everything. When he is satisfied, everyone becomes satisfied. So Krishna took it, became satisfied. And immediately, Durvasa Muni and all his 60,000 followers were bathing in the river. They immediately felt like they had eaten a big feast. <laughs> so embarrassed that they, if they had to come in back, they wouldn't be able to eat anymore because they were completely full. They just turned and left. And that way, Krishna saved the Pandavas from the wrath of Durvasa Muni. Mm -hmm. So that's interesting. Annapurna Devi, she's known as the goddess of nourishment and the giver of food. She's an expansion of Parvati Devi, the wife of Lord Shiva. She appeared on this day. Hmm. Another auspicious uh, event. Korva, Kor, Kuvera became the Lord of Wealth and, and he prayed to Lord Shiva at Shiva Purnam on this day. And that village there is known as 
Kurvera Puri. So he became uh, the Lord of Wealth, the property with which with which Lakshmi debuted by praying to Lord Shiva at Shiva Purim. Okay, on this day, Sudama, the friend of Lord Krishna, came to visit his friend Lord Krishna on this day in Dwarkapuri. Mm -hmm. Lord Jagannath, uh, he, he, he performs a sacrifice on this particular day. And he, uh, knowing the auspiciousness of the day, he began the sacrifice. It's also the day where the residents of Jagannath Puri, the families that are involved with the, with the Rathayatra, begin the construction of the Rathayatra cart on this particular day. And it takes at least a month to put the cart together, three cards actually. Um, I had the good fortune of being in Jagannath Puri uh, three times for the Ratha Yatra. And uh, on one time, uh, we got really a first hand report about how the carts were built. And they explained to us that each of the parts of the cart, including the different colors that the cart is painted, is done by a particular family. No one family does the cart themselves. And these, this is a family tradition for that family. So as the families come up, they work on one part of the cart. Another family works on another part. And when the painting comes, there's like colors of yellow, green, red, blue, that are used for markings all over the cart. And each, each of the markings has a different family connected with it. So it's very scientific, intricate, culturally oriented, very family uh, developed, how the carts are actually put together for the Jagannath Ratha Yantra. And those carts are huge. Takes, it takes about, let me see, 700 trees of a particular kind of a tree to make the three carts. And, every, and the carts are not used more than one year. They use the cart. And after the, the uh, festival is over, they take that cart and disassemble it and they use it for firewood throughout the whole year to cook for Jagannath. And then the next year, when it's time again, they begin collecting the trees, 700 trees, and beginning to make the car. So very interesting. Uh, this is the time where Gungo tree and Jamuno tree open on this particular time. And the four dharms, the four dharms close for the winter for six months and then reopen again after six months. So now Kedrinath, Badrinath, uh, Rameshwara, uh, like that, they all uh, open at this time. Nija Rupa Darshan at the Varaha Lakshmi Nasringa Temple in Simhachala, Andhra Pradesh. The main deities are Varaha Lakshmi and Narasimha Swami is covered in sandalwood paste throughout the year. So there's a beautiful deity of one almost man-like looking form of Nasringa Devi is called Narasimha Swami. On Akshaya Tirtha, the, all the sandalwood paste is removed and the devotees can have darshan at that particular deity only on this day. Very rare darshan. Uh, the Lord Chaitanya visited that temple and took darshan there on this day. Uh, this is the day of Kira Kora Gopinath pastimes, where Gopinath stole the Kira for his uh, devotee, Madhavendra Puri which is known as Amrita Keli 
There is nothing more tastier than that care that is offered to Gopinath. We were there for a festival one year with many devotees, and we had the good fortune of tasting that care that is offered to Gopinath. So celestial, <laughs> so succulent. We also were able to accept a huge feast that was cooked by the uh, Pujaris there for the devotees when we came, which was a very memorable feast. I can't, I can't remember all the preparations, but I do remember it was the mo one of the most tastiest feasts we ever, I ever had in my life. <laughs> So, and we also, later on that same day, we had the chance to get the, the care open off of the Gopina. On this day, Adi Sankaracharya, he composed one strota called Kanada Dara. On this day, he recited 22 slokas in praise of Sri Lakshmi Devi, who was very pleased and it appeared before Sankaracharya. Acharya, like that. In Kuba Konam, Lakshmi Vishnu deities, Tessas in Tamil Nadu, uh, from 12 Vaishnav temples are taking on a grand Garuda Vahana. Maybe some of you are from that area. Lord Vishnu's carrier procession known as Dwarasa Garuda Vai. Sevai. Well, on this day, there is a great procession called Garuda Vahana. <laughs> Srila Prabhupada incorporated the League of Devotees in Jansing on Akshir, Akshaya Tirtha, 16th May, 1953. And that was also on this day. Nar Narayan, Nar Narayan Rishi appeared in this world on this day. The Hayagriva avatar of the Lord also appeared on this day. And on this day, the sun and the moon are at their peak of brightness. There's nothing more auspicious on, on this day. So those of you who are still beginning your day, I know many of you are still in the morning hours. Here we are in the late afternoon hours, but you can think what you want to do on this day and it will bring great auspiciousness. Um, there are so many things that you may want to do to begin like that. On this particular day, this is also, it says, uh, uh, in Nandagram, Krishna's pastimes were enjoyed on this particular day. And when Nanda Maharaj originally established his residence in Nandagram, he excavated a large lake known as Nanda Sarovara. Mm -hmm. They used to bathe in that lake resident and regularly. One day, Krishna saw his mother preparing all these foodstuffs. And she, she usually used to prepare rice, dal, sabji, and chapatis. This day, she was making all kinds of fried preparations, like dal, noodles, and flour. And Krishna asked her, why is she doing that? She said, oh, your father, Nanda Maharaj, is going on pilgrimage the next day. And he needs to, he will take these food items with him. So Krishna came to his father a little later and asked him, Why, where is he going? He said, I'm going to Prayag to, to get a beg the benefit and worship Prayag Dave on this particular day to get the blessings of Prayag. And then Nanda, Nanda explained that Prayag is the most sacred place. It's the place where the three rivers, Ganga, Jamun, and Saraswati meet together and flow. And one who bathes in the, in the confluence of these three, he becomes very much blessed. The next morning, Nanda Maharaj prepared, got up early, took his bath. And he, when he was about to go, he went to the lake where he went to take his bath when he saw 
he saw this huge man, very imposing, regal looking, and he was ro rolling in the dust. And while he was rolling in the dust, he was laughing loudly. He would get up and then he would dive and un under Sarovar, and then he would come out, roll in the dust and laugh and again bathe in the lake. Under Maharaj approached this, new, this man and he asked him, who are you? <laughs> What are you doing? He said, Baba, I'm Prayag. Prayag? I don't know anybody in Nandagram who's named Prayag. No, no, I'm not from here. I'm Prayag Raj, the king of all holy theaters. Why have you come here? Well, all, day, all year long, people come to bathe in my waters and leave sinful activities there. So every year on Aksaya Tripti, I come here and bathe in the dust of Raj and take bath in the Sarovar. And because of this, this lake can purify all sins. Nanda Maharaj was amazed to hear that. And he noticed on the other side of the lake, there were beautiful ladies dressed in so nice saris taking baths. The saris were gold with silver threads and very, very decoratively, luxuriously looking. Nanda Maharaj asked them who they were. One lady said, I am Ganga Devi. The other one said, I'm Saraswati. The other one said, I'm Govern Kodavari. They all responses. They all responded to the names of the holy rivers. Another one said, I'm Kuru Jangala, Kaviri, Narmadi, Ramaputra, Mahanadi, Mahanada. Then ask him, and Nanda Maharaj asked him, why did you come here? And the ladies explained that all year long, people come and bathe in our waters and they, we pick up so most sinful activities. So on this one day of the year, Aksaya Tritya, we come here to roll in the dust in Vrindavan and bathe in the Sarovar and become purified. Pavana, the word Pavana become, means purified. Nanda Maharaj after taking his bath, he went back to his residence. At that time, Krishna was awake. He coming before me, he asked, Baba, are you going? He had Krishna asked him, No, Lala, I'm not. Why, Baba? Because today, all the places I wanted to go came to take bath in, in our lake to become purified. So, why should I take the trouble to go there? <laughs> and so that lake later became. Came, Pavana Sarovara, and before it was Nanda Sarovara, and then it became Pavana. Pavana means purified. And uh, I remember we were in Vrindavan, and uh, we, we took bath in Pavana Sarovara, and then we went on pilgrimage to, uh, to visit um, uh, the place where Tosi Maharani is worshipped. And uh, but while we were there, we uh, we took bath in there, and there's a there's a uh, nice uh, bhajan kudir by Sanatan Goswami right there by Pavana Sarovara. And right after we left, one very wealthy man who was very favorable to the devotees um, decided to give a large amount of money to excavate and clean out Parva Sarovara. So they removed all the water from Parvana Sarovara, kept it in one place, cleaned the whole Sarovara, and then replaced all that water back. It took many, many, many weeks to do it. Actually, maybe even many months to do it. But that was a very holy place. I remember that uh, there was a beautiful festival as we went from Pavana Sarovar to the place of Tosi Maharani. Um, the, the ladies who were with us were putting pots on their head and holding these pots. And we all walked in procession, singing and chanting the holy names of the Lord as we proceeded to uh, the place where Tosi Devi is worshipped. I can't remember the name of that place. It's a very popular name, but right now my mind is not able to remain, remind, uh, remember. If anybody remembers the place where Tulsi Devi is worshipped, it's a very holy place there. Her deity is there, and there's a beautiful Vrindakun. Thank you, Anasuya. 
Thank you very much, Rindakund. We came to Rindakund. And uh, I remember while we were marching or uh, walking, a huge torrential rainstorm came with high winds and we were all walking along. We didn't break our pace. We kept our, <laughs> thank you, Dheeraj. Um, we kept our uh, pace. And when we got to Rindakun, we were all drenched and quite cold also. <laughs> uh, we finally made it. I remember falling in front of the deity of Tulsi Devi and sitting there just fully soaked <laughs> to, the, to the core and just sitting there chanting Japa in front of Tulsi Devi. We had no other recourse. We, we had no other change of clothes and we were you know, a long way from where we were staying. So we just took the best of it and took shelter of Tulsi Devi. And I remember it was a beautiful festival and that went on at Brindakund and everybody got so absorbed in the festival, we forgot about our difficulties that we had when we were walking there in torrential rains. So Krishna just wanted to make it more uh, transcendental for us. So we were able to taste the mercy of uh, Vindakund. Okay. So Pavana Sarovana is a very, very uh, holy place. It's a place where Radharani used to cook for Krishna. And it says that before it became Pravana Sarovara, when it was Nanda Sarovara, Radha and Krishna would perform pastimes within the water there. They would each dive from, from the opposite side into the water and they would meet each other underwater. So these are some of the auspicious events that happened on this particular day. There are many others also that were not mentioned, but this is a very holy day, so take advantage of it. If you chant Japa, you experience the special mercy of the Lord on this day by chanting. And whatever you do, Japa, Kirtan, Yajna, bathing, offering water to the departed souls, giving in charity, any, any ceremonies performed on this day will meet with great auspiciousness and complete success. <laughs> now this is Aksaya Tritya, a little bit about its glories. I'm sure that many of you have some experience with this particular holy place, um, maybe or on this holy day. So it would be nice to hear from other devotees about something about Aksaya Tirtha, Aksaya Tritya. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna Guru Maharaj, thank you so much uh, for uh, um, explaining or uh, giving all the details of uh, Akshay Tritya and what are the major events happened on this particular day. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. Um, I see Sri Devi Mataji's uh, hand raised. I think she wants to share something. Um, Mataji, you can go ahead, Mataji. Uh, I'm so sorry. I don't know how that happened. I didn't raise my hand. Please forgive me. <laughs> okay, Mataji. I request devotees if they have any questions or comments, or if you want to share anything about Akshay Tritya, please go ahead and share. Thank you. Lavanya, you can share something. Uh, Guru Maharaj, uh, I'm just a neophyte. I don't know anything about Akshay Tritya. Usually in um, India, most of the time, um, Akshay Tritya means buying gold, <laughs> buying gold and buying a lot of uh, jewelry. That was, uh, I see a lot of that um, happening in India. So most of the jewelry shop owners, they all exhib they all publicize about Akshay Tritya in that way. And after coming into ISKCON, uh, <laughs> I came to know <laughs> about this importance of this particular day, Guru Maharaj. Um, I don't have anything to share other than this. <laughs> uh, so I everybody's buying gold. 
the ladies are the ladies are becoming more decorative. Decor <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I used to look forward for this day to buy something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, good Maharaj, uh, but not uh, nowadays. Uh, I don't. So. I see Vivek Prabhu. Oh, you can buy something and give it to Krishna. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. You can do that. Anyone else? Yeah, Vivek Prabhu uh, has raised his hand. Um, Prabhuji, you can go ahead. Thank you, Mataji. Uh, Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Maharaj, I have one question related to uh, not gold or <laughs> not buying. But, <laughs> but, but related to uh, this uh, Drobdi uh, Maharani disrobing pastime. Uh, see, one thing I like, uh, my little understanding, see, one side I feel that Krishna did not come to help Draupadi uh, while she was holding, trying to support or hold by one hand and only raising one, uh, thinking that like no full, like uh, still trying to control on her own and not full surrender or not like fully dependent on Krishna that now he is going to do. But other side, I feel uh, we should try to do our karma and try to remember Krishna. Like, so that's kind of karma that whatever best we can do in that situation, but still remember and call out Krishna. So how to take this Guru Maharaj and understand this past time? <laughs> well, you understand it by <laughs> practicing it. <laughs> in other words, if you want Krishna's full mercy, you have to fully surrender. <laughs> she wasn't fully surrendered, so she didn't get the mercy. Only when she fully surrendered. She could do it. Maybe we don't have that faith that we, we still think that we can somehow or other achieve success by our own endeavors or save ourself in difficulty by our own intelligence. But Krishna was showing, yeah. The one who could depends completely on me, Prahlad Maharaj, was completely dependent on Krishna. And his father couldn't do anything to harm him. And there are many stories even in this, the uh, ISKCON society where devotees have been completely overwhelmed with dangerous situations, but simply depending on Krishna, Krishna came and saved him. And there are many stories. So, yeah. Mm, Sanatana Goswami explains the six characteristics of surrender to, to the Lord. One is complete dependence on the Lord. So you can use your intelligence how to depend on the Lord. <laughs> People use their intelligence how to get away from the Lord <laughs> so they can act according to their own ideas and desires. But devotees think, oh, what can I do? I can only try. And then the mercy of the Lord is, is, will make the difference. And one who remembers the Lord always will get the full mercy of the Lord in the form of protection, knowledge, inspiration. Everything will, will come by the mercy of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Thank you very much. Okay. Diraj, what, what is what is Diraj's question here? He wrote something on the chat. Wasn't um, 
I didn't see the whole thing. Mm -hmm. he is just uh, saying that I stay in Kolkata, just two minutes distance from Prabhupada's birthplace. So there is a Radha Madan Mohan temple where he got the rice ceremony. So here there is celebration here in the Akshay Tritya day. The temple is decorated on the day after Akshay Tritya, Chandan Yatra starts and every day we get to see new darshan. Beautiful, Radha Madan Mohan temple. Beautiful. Yeah, this goes on for 21 days beginning today. Chandan Yatra. We also were given a notification that uh, Anasuya from Boston has yeah. gotten married on this day. So today is her wedding anniversary. Yeah. Congratulations. Guess, so that's auspicious. Anybody else done anything on this day in the past? <laughs> um, Gauri Sevika Mataji, you want to uh, share anything? Uh, you, you raised your hand. Oh, yes, thank you, Mataji. Uh, Hare Krishna Maharaj please accept my humble obeisance. Thank you so much for Maharaj I wanted to ask one question. Recently, I talked to a senior uh, devotee and like she was sharing how it is mentioned in some places that not just Akshya Tritya, but the entire month, I believe it's Vishakha month is very auspicious. And she said it's very much like Kartika. So is it that auspicious? Species, like the entire month is uh, like Kartika, but not many devotees are aware of that. It is a very auspicious month. There's no doubt about that. But we don't see there is a comparison between Kartika and this particular month. The most auspicious months of all months is Purushottam Mas. That's the most auspicious month, which happens every 27 months. It doesn't come up every year. Second to that is Kartik. And I think Vishaka this month is the just following behind in auspiciousness. So when you try to uh, gauge or define auspiciousness, you have to give credit to all of these uh, particular months. And to make a comparison, it's hard to say, but the scriptures talk about Kartik as the month of the year that is the most auspicious. So, but there's no doubt that this month is also auspicious for performing devotional activities because it's the month of Lord Vishnu. But Karti is the month, Kartik is the month of Lord Krishna. Actually, it's the month of Radharani. Karti is Radharani's month. Although we worship Damodar in that month, still it's called Uj, 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 Ujjeshwari. Radharani is called Ujjeshwari that particular month. Um, I forgot the particular connection with the month itself. Ujjani, I think it is. Um, so yeah, we don't hear Vishaka being superior to Kartik. But it's not that what that person said is wrong. It's just the Shastras give Kartik the prime place for auspicious during the year. Thank you so much for the confirmation, Maharaji. And is it okay to ask some other question not related to Akshay Tritya because it has been bothering me a lot lately? <laughs> okay, go ahead. Uh, actually, uh, it's like when we have read that if someone does Vaishnava Prad in front of us, like uh, offending other Vaishnavas or Krishna. So we should not tolerate or we should at least scold or do some action against that. But uh, sometimes it's not possible because they may be quite elder from materialistic age perspective or something like that. So it's very hard to, so what should be done ideally in such situations? Like uh, if some initiated disciple is criticizing very badly about his Diksha Guru, so what should be done? Walk away. Okay. You immediately walk away. If you hear it, you'll be poisoned by that. Just walk away. 
excuse yourself or just go away somehow and don't stay there. <laughs> okay. Thank if you. So much. That, if there's nobody to listen, then the person stops talking. <laughs> Thank you very much, Maharaji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Lavanya, what was that last one that appeared in the chat? <laughs> Sri Devi Mataji is writing, uh, my daughter Aparajita says uh, she wishes to offer a small donation of $50 to Guru Maharaj today. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, I will remember that donation every time I Akshaya Tritya comes every year and I will think, oh, such a nice devotee as a Parijata. She has remembered me on this day. Thank you. <laughs> All glories to your uh, very special little daughter. She's not so little, but very special daughter. Guru uh, Maharaj, um... Uh, we have. I want to show you um, the darshan of uh, Sri Radha Ramanji. Um, Vivek Prabhu has shared it um, with me. So just yeah, yeah. This is this is today's darshan. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Today's darshan. Wow. This is Chandan dress, Guru Maharaj. So Chandan dress. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, Vivek Prabhu, for sharing this. Wow, that is. CC Radharaman G. Ki Jai. Most auspicious. Mm -hmm. Sri Radharaman G. Ki Jai. Krishna's garland goes way beyond his lotus feet. Brunda, speak something about your experience on this day. Hare Krishna, Brunda Mataji, are you there? Swatoji, Hare Krishna, Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to you, Maharaj. Mm -hmm. uh, on this day, my memory I just shared, like all the temples are mostly decorated with mangoes because it's a mango season. And I have a picture of Vithal Rukmini Temple of Pandarpur, which is completely decorated with uh, mangoes. Mm. Uh, but I don't know how to share it now here. <laughs> is, it, can, is, is it on your computer? Uh, it's on my phone. Lavanya um, Mataji, hold, hold, hold the phone up to the, to the screen. <laughs> oh, okay. I will, will you send uh, to me, Mataji? I can share it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's all, Maharaj. I just wanted to share that. Thank you, Maharaj. Yeah, please. Are we going to see it? Yes, um, Mataji, please uh, share it now. Um, I'll show it to Guru Maharaj. Yes, Mataji, I'm sharing it immediately. Yeah, thank you. Hare Krishna devotees, any more uh, comments or questions? Um, Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to you, Guru Maharaj. 
Thank you for reminding us what a beautiful and important and auspicious day this is. As devotees, what can we do on this day to benefit um, the general population, especially today? What can we do to help people? Well, we mentioned you distribute prashadam, it's good. Um, have kirtan. Yeah, for the, for the general people, kirtan and prashadam is thing that they are attracted to. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So good morning, and I want to share um, Vinda Mataji sent the pictures. Uh, are you able to see Guru Maharaj? Oh, wow, look at that. Whoa. Wow, Vitala. And Vitala, is that Rukmini? Yes, I think. Rukmini Vitala. Mangoes, mangoes, mangoes. Bitter, 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 Is Arch in a city? Is she here today? <laughs> no? I don't see Burmaraj. No, she is not there. She's not. Oh, okay. She's a devotee of Vitala. I can share yep. it in the group so that she will get to see. Well, that is really amazing. Mangoes and pineapples and what else we have there? We have uh, pomegranates and apples and limes and lemons and other kinds of auspicious fruit. Amazing Darshan. Yeah, you can share the photos on the conference. <clears throat> yes, good morning, sure. That would be worth having that photo. <laughs> I think uh, the top part of the um, body of uh, Lord Vitala is uh, Chandan Guru Maharaj. Uh, yes, Mata. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all Chandan marks. Yeah. I also have a picture of the the Shringa Didi, who comes out of his Chandan once a year on this day. I could uh, share it on the screen right now if anyone would like to see it. Yes, Should I show it? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is the deity. You see in the middle there, he's covered all over with decorations and no one can see him. That's good, Maharaj. Yeah, we can see. And then, yeah, and then on the, on the left side is when he appears without the chandan. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Um, Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj. This is a very auspicious thing. Take advantage of whatever time is left in the day and uh, perform more and exciting devotional activities. Mm -hmm. That's good, 
Okay, so we can. Has any more uh, questions or comments? Uh, um, we have still five more minutes. Let me say tomorrow's class is uh, with the devotees from the UK, Sh um, Shailash Kovindia and his small group of about 10 devotees. So that'll be at the same time tomorrow. And there is a different uh, link, which we posted on the calendar. And uh, we posted the events for the next week or more on the calendar so uh, everyone can see what's upcoming and so starting on on sunday special program monday there's a special program and tuesday we begin um leelas of lord nishringadev starting on tuesday till the following tuesday which is his parents day on the 25th it's going matter. So everyone can update their inf the information. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Guru Maharaj, for your time and association today. And, Thank you. Uh, everyone have a very auspicious day today. And uh, take advantage of the mercy and engage more in devotional activities. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Yeah. The topics are all very interesting topics uh, from tomorrow onwards. Um, we are looking forward for the classes, Guru Maharaj. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Glories to Srila Prabhupada. Happy anniversary to Anasuya. All glories to all of the auspicious events that happened on this day that we know of and the one even of the ones we don't know of. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Maharaj.